if anybody knows teachers form the core of any school, the first thing that we look for is teachers who connect. And you know, we can tell, we, we sort of call it the 5% rule. About 5% of people really enjoy working with people on this spectrum. They get uh, a sort of mystical vibe out of it. It's uh, something you can tell almost right away. If you're a parent of an autistic person, you know right away if someone is going to be um, close or not close to your, uh, to your child. That person might have some special ed training. Oftentimes, the person does not. Among our most wonderful teachers, one of them is a professional stuntman, another is a rodeo rider, another is a flautist, another is someone who has worked a lot of their lives in a coal mine, and another one is someone who has been a career teacher. I didn't have any experience, but I just knew how I got along with James and some of the other people that I was introduced with autism. I thought, um, man, what a great thing to do. They're, they're so specialized in what they love to do. And it just seemed really interesting. These uh, young adults that are on the spectrum, I noticed when we do exercise at the beginning, they're really quiet, but as we get into exercise, whether it's a hike, swim, or kayak, they start to being a little bit more social. They talk to one another. And they just seem to be a little bit more lively. For the first time we went kayaking, I think we had like about six kids that never been in the ocean. And a couple of the parents, I just remember looking at them up on the breakwater and them watching their kids and they were just like in disbelief that their, their kids were kayaking. And that just was so amazing to me because I know pretty much anybody could kayak. It just They just have to have that uh, willingness to try it. So you gotta be consistent. You gotta show up every Saturday or every whatever day you're gonna have your class. You gotta be consistent. You gotta be there. You gotta correspond with the students or their parents. Consistency, I find, really works. There's been three classes that I've been leading. Um, a fitness class, a nutrition class, and job placement class. Not everybody that, on the, that is on the spectrum is the same. So everybody's needs are so unique. And to be open-minded to those different needs and figuring out what exactly each person needs, whether it be the physical aspect or they need the socialization, tapping into those areas, as well as finding what their strong points are so you can be able to do both. I believe that drumming is a way to communicate. And I think it's definitely, people want to express themselves and so when you want to express yourself, it comes out naturally. And whether that's through art, through music, through painting, through uh, you know, singing, or even playing the drums, I think it's a self-expression. And when you express yourself like that, and, and it, it's pure, it's, it's authentic, it's, it's your voice. The drum is just a tool, as Remo would say. It's, it's not even the drum that that creates the camaraderie. It's not just the drum that creates the music. It's it's what happens. It's what happens within that group. When you're with people, when you're with like-minded individuals, with your people, with people that, that care about you, that that you care about as well. It's your community, it's your tribe. I think there needs to be more hidden wings out there. I truly believe that. I, if there's more people doing what Jim's doing, I think everybody will have this awareness and we'll work together. And not only that, it'll, it'll create more communication between other organizations. And the more communication we have, the better. I think that's what's going to help us along. I think that's what's going to get the word out.